Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 9th of January 2019 and the time has just gone 11.20 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is Palladium and as we can see the metal reached a all-time high back in um, June, January 2018 and then for much of the last year it had a fairly sizable um, correction but since August 2018 up until now the market has been uh, firmly back in its wider upward trend. We can see here that that, that market went on to create uh, fresh all-time highs in late 2018 and actually only even today another record high has been set. So, the, so the, the, the current trend for Palladium is clearly bullish, it's clearly very much to the upside. And if you take a look at the price action on, on a, on a near-term basis, we can see that the market has been in a classic example of an upward trend, a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. And as I just said, a fresh record high today. Taking a look at the MACD indicator, MACD Instagram down here, we can see that, the mark, at the, that there's a clear sign of an increase in positive momentum. So the upward move in the, in the underlying Palladium market is being confirmed by the steady increase in positive momentum. So the market's moving higher and the, the rate at which the market's moving higher is increasing. So momentum is with buyers. If you do look to push on higher from here, the next area we could be looking at running into resistance at might be the 1200 region. It's a big psychological number and we're currently sitting at 1283, so we're not too far away from it. If the market does so manage to pull back from these levels, uh, we could see some fresh buyers enter the fold, seeing as buying on the dip has been a popular strategy in recent months. And if the market does manage to drift a bit lower, uh, we could see support come into, into play in around this region here at 1236. Or perhaps even down at 1200. Uh, notice back in November and also in some of December, we can see that the market really struggled to break above the 1200 mark. So the previous old resistance may act as new support. And even if you do drop below 1200, uh, it's, been, it's in such a, a, a strong upper trend, we might we still might see um, the wider trend continue in the meter, medium term. So even if you do drop below 1200, uh, the next area for potential support might come into play in the 1160 region. We can see here that 1160 coincides with this blue line here, the 50 day moving average. And we can also see that on a couple of occasions, the 1160 region managed to act as support in, um, in, both, uh, in both November and also in December. Now, if you are going to be trading the Palladium market, please keep an eye on on both the emissions news in relation to emissions and vehicles. Uh, one of the reasons why palladium has been in such high demand in, in recent years is because palladium is, is used in catalytic converters for petrol cars or for petrol engines. And given that we're now heading towards a more kind of uh, eco-friendly and greener society, there's been a steady increase for um, for cutting down for cutting down pollution and emissions. Uh, there's been tighter regulation out of China. And adding to that, uh, in Europe, there's been a shift away from diesel and more towards petrol. Uh, in relation to uh, the, the macro, macro news, uh, the US and China have concluded their trade talks. Uh, they've appeared to have ended on a, a fairly positive note. We've yet to hear any uh, further details in relation to that, but if things are looking quite well in relation to the trading relationship between Washington, D.C., and also Beijing, that could give a lift to kind of overall global sentiment because in recent months there has been concern about uh, the trade standoff between the two could be a, could be a bit of an issue in relation to global growth. Uh, that's all for me this week. If you have any comments you want to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.